Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Couch Company Podcast. My name is John. With me, as always, Tyler DeFazio. Hey, John Perez. <laughs> you always say John, and then you tell me my last name. Like you're putting me out there. Well, I would, what if I'm on the run? It's like witness a witness sla- protection. Well, here we go already. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's like a slam dunk. So it's like an alley oop, I should say. Yeah. That's a football term, and you want to put the bas- basket in the ball. You know what I mean? Basket in the ball. Classic, basket uh, in the ball. Yeah. I'm learning so much about specifically basketball, which I would argue is my least favorite. Or uh, least favorite basketball like is sport. in within my top five list of least favorite sports. Yeah, we should do top five least favorite sports. That would be an interesting list. <laughs> that would to be do. right on my yeah. My that would brand. be yeah. yeah. So yeah, we would kind of hit both of ours there, but not today though. Not today though. Today we have a really exciting list for you. But first, I hope everyone listening had a fantastic Turkey Day, the best holiday. Uh, it is the best holiday in my opinion and factually. So both coincide very often. Yeah. Um, Tyler, I hope you had a good, uh, Thanksgiving. I did. It was, it was good. Um, I found out that the stuffing my aunt makes is like not normal stuffing. So like what we all, yeah, we always have new people come into, into our family, uh, get togethers because like either my cousins or, or, you know, well, Actually, really, just my cousin. If they have uh, like different, like significant others sure, and, and stuff sure. like that, uh, sometimes they bring their friends, and it's always like we have at least one new person every year that comes in, and right. and they're always like, "Oh, I've never had stuffing like this before," because like you know, stuffing is like mushy, right? Yes, and it's yeah. just kind of mm-hmm. like like kind of like moist or whatever. And my aunt does not make it that way. She like makes it uh, where it's it's more bread than like yeah my mom's the same way it's a better texture i like Absolutely. it it's, it's awesome yeah yeah so anyway that's my it's more that's like my crumbly and bread, yeah 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 it's, yeah. it's delicious no, nothing it's was Stuffing open for fantastic. black friday though what's that so normally when we do thanksgiving and and i'm excited because even though i obviously work in the real t- uh, retail space right yeah. so in my world christmas is over <laughs> like weeks before christmas actually hits right uh, but I love going out and kind of going into the hustle bustle and, and everything. Mm-hmm. Nothing was open this year, which is good. Obviously, yeah. COVID, pandemic, yeah. like yeah. be safe. Right. But uh, second year in a row where it's just like, yeah, you just stay home. Yeah, it's sort it's of weird. Sad. I mean, we're transitioning to like, you're just going to buy everything online anyways, right? Like, yeah, that's just I know, the world. But I just, I love. Yeah, I know, being out in the. Going um, there. Yeah. yeah. So um, I actually went, went to light up night. Uh, downtown. Yeah. So how was that? I've yeah, never that was, been to that. I don't think. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Like, that's kind of that hustle bustle. Like yeah, you're just holiday you're spirit kind of. Yeah, people. exactly. Yeah, you you feel that energy. So yeah. that's a that's a good time. Um, we're in the thick of it. We're in the thick of it. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, in honor of the fallen turkeys, uh, this past Thursday, uh, we Rip. will <laughs> yeah rest in peace. Um, we're gonna do a special top five here. It's not related to turkey, so I don't know why I'm doing that. But it was a good segue. I was going to follow you to the end. I no, I, I agree. I mean, people need to respect. You know, the turkeys fall on the sword here for us every uh, every do. year. So for the best holiday. So I want to just a quick shout out to them. But I will say, uh, I am very excited about this week's top five. As we are, we talked about. We deliberated a while about this. We settled on a pretty interesting one. We're doing top five title themes in video games. It's very specific, but I think it had to be. Yes. Originally, I was, you know, thinking along the lines of soundtracks, which, you know, potentially we could circle back to. Yeah. Um, but that's, I mean, that's an ocean, right? It's you, you, it's a lot, and you don't you don't you don't think about it, right? A lot right. of the time when, in video games, where it's just like you could have a really great soundtrack that just works so well that you. <sighs> It, it's hard to describe, right? Because if a soundtrack does something well, you're like, wow, that's a really great soundtrack. And yeah, stuff. Yeah. Especially yourself, who's musically inclined, and that's just what you listen for and think of. But sure. like, I'm sure I've missed a million yeah. songs right. and soundtracks yeah. and things like that that, I, that yeah. I think would be great. Like, So we tried to keep it a little bit simpler, a little bit, uh, not watered down, but more specific. Uh, I mean, you have, I one, tune, you have one tune per, per um, game, right? Yeah. And in some instances, there's, you know... Actually, there's no like some. I was surprised. I was you know going through a lot of the games that I played, and uh, sometimes like the title screen itself has no music. I know we're gonna talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So we'll get into the roles with that. But in, in particular, I was like, oh man. So I was going through like my childhood games to see if there's any sleepers, right? Yeah. And Ratchet and Clank, all of them are notorious for the title screen is just 
like white noise, like yeah. ships passing by and like yep. the city sound and he's just working on his ship. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's no music. <laughs> it's, it's cool, but yeah. It's not going to win because <laughs> nope. it's not even. I, yeah. I ran into one, and we'll we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Do, you, do we yeah. want to jump into the rules? I know we. Yes, yeah, so let's jump into the rules because so this is these a episodes are a little particular because of the holidays. And yeah, right. So we'll we'll uh, we'll keep it focused. Yes. Um, just for everyone listening, hopefully. So what we're doing is we're going to. I'm going to splice in like the actual soundtracks. Yeah. Uh, whenever we're a talking snippet through of stuff, it. Yeah. a snippet. Yeah. So I'm going to try to keep it everything in about ten seconds. Uh, as long as like what we're talking about, man, fits you, you better second, pick the, second thing. the best part of it. Well, and I think that's what we, that's what we will. <laughs> yeah. like, we'll I, I know the best parts of the ones I'm bringing to the table, so we'll have yeah, to I'll, deliberate. I'll discuss with you about what I would consider. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be some fun editing. Yeah, yeah. Well. Uh, but then I will have the links to the full song of the top five, whatever top five we decide on. That will be in the description. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I encourage everyone to take you know check out. All of the ones mentioned because yeah, they're on all your, very your good. Beats headphones or whatever. Yeah. If whatever, you can find them on YouTube line, with yeah. all the fucking copyrights and shit, it's tough. I I think we are good from a legal standpoint. If we get pulled down, we get pulled down. We'll see. Yeah, Who we'll knows? see. I got it. Well, it's a very small snippet, right? It's, it's ten. That's what I mean. Ten yeah. seconds per, per right. thing. So I, I, I would, okay. I would, and nobody listens to us. No, so if, if anyone, I would assume Nintendo gets gets hit. So I will put in the True. ten seconds for anything we talk about. Yep. Um, and then the top five will be in the description. Okay. Very good. I Excellent. All right, let's get down to the rules. The rules. Your the favorite fun. part. I love rules so much. Do you like rules? I uh, I like when everything has their place, yeah. Yeah, you're weird. It's very- Not uh, weird. You're psychotic. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick with that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so rules. So Tyler brought up a good point here where um, it is um, the title theme, okay? So in speaking to that, you know, a lot of games have an opening cinematic mm-hmm. um, or- you know, classically, actually, you know, some sort of demo or something of the, of the gameplay, right. yeah, and and that sort of thing doesn't actually count, right? Yeah, this is the what I said was static. Obviously, we understand certain title right. screens are right. animated, but right. whatever static where it's saying press start or play or whatever, that's the screen we're talking about. Now, I do have a question about this, uh, and there, you know, there might be some legal motions when it comes to this or okay. anything. I mean, we'll deliberate, but um, some title screens will play certain music and then go into a gameplay kind of demo thing after you're idle for a while. I don't think any of mine do that, but yeah, I'm just I curious mean, well, your take on that. No, I think it's whatever, whenever it's blinking that just says like yeah. play or yeah. start or whatever. And obviously if there's a random example that we come across, we'll, we'll talk about it, but I'm talking just the, the one that like right whenever you hit it, that's the yeah, song playing. Right. Um, yeah. Like I said, I think I am good on all of mine. The the only one that was kind of a unique one is I was looking at Rocket League. Rocket League has right. a fantastic talk, soundtrack, yes, yes. but it is the soundtrack, yeah. which I didn't think was quite fair. Okay, so along with that, I mean, if it's a theme, sometimes some of these games, and and this is on my list as well. Some of these games, the main theme is on the title screen. Is that okay? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, as long as it's on the title screen, then that's and we'll again we'll talk sure, about it. Sure. There are a couple games where I'm like, oh no, like I I love a song, yeah. And it just so happened that it was on the title, and I lucked out. Yeah. I'll um, I'll talk about so with Rocket League when it comes right, and, and this is probably our longest rule section ever. Yeah, but this is a it's complex important. one. Sure. So in one of mine particularly, um, it starts off with a unique title. Um, theme and then transitions into a variety of the tracks that are in the game does that count <laughs> let's let's talk through it when it pops we can up. talk through it once yeah. it pops up okay um, very good the, the, i can i can pivot if it does not count. the last a, thing and i want to get your take on yeah. it are we so there are certain games that have the theme across multiple games yes do we have to pick yes which game is the best version yes. of that I, I have done a lot yes. of research into awesome. why I believe certain iterations are, are the best. Perfect. Excellent. We're right. on the same page. Do you want to kick it off since you're so excited for this thing? Okay, this is, I will uh, kick it off. I don't know what I want to go with first. I'll start with the heavy hitter. It's first on my list. No particular order. I want to mention that. I'm not yeah. spoiling anything, but it's first on my list. But this is a heavy hitter. Drum roll, please. Do we All have right. a drum roll in there? Uh, we don't want to. I don't know. We Here we go. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. I thought uh, he was uh, going to press it. All right. Sorry. Anyways, I have on my list, first up, Civilization Six. 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 Not four. Not four. Interesting you say that. Friend of the show, Calvin. Yeah. 
left me a voicemail. Okay. Saying he wants to go to bat for four. I respect four. Okay. And I've listened to it. So I was doing my research today. I listened through all the civilizations. Four is fantastic. But I think six is better slightly. And I never played four. So honestly, I'm a little bit more partial to the ones I've played. Okay. Well, tell you what. Let's take a listen to you six. We'll play okay. We'll play a quick clip. And then uh, we'll come right back. Man, that's pretty good. Isn't that it's, fucking fantastic? So the epicness, and and I will, uh, we will play a clip of four just for a quick okay. like comparison sure. because I, I do feel like we owe Calvin that because when Calvin sent me that message uh, for four, so he's adamant that four is better. Uh, I don't. I mean, that's that's what he said. He was, wants to go bad four. He wants you to support him. I, I disagree. I like I said, four is respect great. Four, yeah, that's on a different level. Four is a very fun like you yeah. kind of want to like come along type of thing yep. six is a i want to create just, a civilization it is it's very inspiring. inspirational yeah, yeah exactly like it's like exactly this is like the birth of ingenuity like oh. I, it's i get yeah. like it get like goosebumps, goosebumps right yeah. like it's like yeah no i want to i want to go play that game now yeah. like i just want to yes. like yes. do it uh respect on four four is fantastic honestly all of them are very good yeah but Six is on another level, dude. It's like a, a little step up. It's it is bigger. It's in, it's epic. It the scale is huge. It's inspirational. Yeah, it just spark like it makes me want to play the game. Because we talked about four, because I feel like I go to Calvin. Let's let's do a quick clip of a four just to kind of give everyone uh, some contrast here. And it's just, it's good. Yeah. It's just, no, very good. It's, it's a little bit more subdued. It's a little bit more, uh, I think you said like tribal and it's, it's, yeah. it's, you hum along to it. The other one is like, we're going to, like no, you said, like, build, a, yeah, build a, it gets you juiced. We're going to sure. build a rocket and yeah. take over the moon. So, yeah, yeah no, six, totally respect. Six is really good. Yeah, uh, six is really So I might, so I'm on the list here. Like I, I would, I'd be, I'd feel good about putting that on the list to, yeah, that's through. one of my yeah. strongest ones. It's one of my strongest ones. It's very yeah. good. It was the first one I thought of, actually. So I'm I'm gonna do something where I'm just gonna put the clip in right this second. Okay. And uh, then we'll, surprise we'll, we'll, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll surprise it. Here. Okay. Yeah, ah. I mean, you have to have it on there, and I'm very glad that you picked the superior version. Halo 2. Halo 2. The sequel. So, I was doing a lot of Halo research. Obviously, you need to have Halo on the list. Um, so, I listened to every version of the Halo title theme. Um, Halo 4, honorable mention, completely different, but still awesome. It's like Fantastic. a little rendition of it. Right. Yeah. Um, Halo 1, obviously the original. Um, three is pretty much the same as one. And interestingly enough, I, I don't think I listened to five, but uh, Infinite is really good. Infinite was good. It was yeah. very good. Now, here's why Halo 2 is superior to the other versions. Halo 2, first of all, so originally you obviously have the theme. It's just in unison. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. But Halo 2 kind of expands on this idea where, first of all, you have a pedal note sustained throughout the the kind of entire thing, which makes it really like a cool color um, to it. But also you have uh, the female voices in there as well. And they kind of do the theme on, you know, they kind of shift octaves based mm -hmm. on, you know, uh, alto, soprano, whatever, um, tenor, whoever is, is going. It's kind of like steps. I know. Yeah. It is much better though. You need to listen to them back to back and you'll, you'll notice the difference. Now, this is the one I was talking about where Halo 2, the theme is like for the first 30 seconds, it's the Halo theme, but then it goes into a track from the game. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yes. I just listened to the one, whatever they had yes. going on. So, so it's like, yeah, yeah, So Because I, I was doing a lot of research on this where, you know, the first 30 seconds is always the same. It's the Halo theme, mm -hmm. but then it's a random track from the game. Mm. And if you stay on the title screen, it'll go through the tracks from the game. 
So do you count just the initial part? Do you count? Uh, that's a good question. You know what I, I mean? Because that's a very I Rocket would. League-esque situation, yeah. kind of. Rocket League, it's it's literally going through. Yeah, the right. You can track, literally, sh- uh, yeah. And I'm and I'm doing. I, controller I'm looking switch, at the, but you uh, can switch through the songs. I'm looking at the theme. I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought the one I and maybe the one I listened to just was a one specific thing, but sure. It's the it's the theme itself, right? Like the choir and everything. Yeah. yeah, and that needs to be on the list. Everyone knew it was gonna be on the list. I mean, that's one of the most iconic. And oh, uh, you know, we'll see. We only got five spots, so <laughs> the there's a lot of great music yeah. here. Um, yeah, Halo Two is is the best. It's still getting Second sung in place, bathrooms. Second place is Halo Infinite. And the reason why is because it's that unison theme that we all know and love from from the original. Yeah. But after that, they go into this expanded choir rendition mm-hmm. of it, which is just awesome. It's, um, it's, it's really cool. Showcasing what they're trying to do with Infinite, where they're really trying to harken back to the original as exactly. much as they can while being right. a little bit more modern. And I think that, I mean, we played a little bit uh, recently. Yeah. A lot, a ton of fun, actually. I, I, I think that game yeah, is pretty I, clean. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, like, I, I really want to see the campaign. It just got delayed again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want yep. to get too much into that. But well, yeah. we, well, that's good for us because we still need to finish. We still need to finish all the other Halos. ones. But yeah. yeah it's, uh, we got some time. All right. Very good. So, we both had Halo 2. Yes. So, that's excellent. So, that's the thing. So, like, so I will update the list. Uh, you want to hit me with another one? Yes. I'm going to hit you with another one. And uh, should I tell you what it is or should I just play it? And you just, I, I, I'll just play it and I want to see if you know what it is. Oh, okay? my. Okay. Here we go. So gorgeous, yeah, it's gorgeous. I, so I, I wanted to say Final Fantasy, right? And it's you, close. You said close. It's very close. So what? Are we, what is it? What it is got? Kingdom Hearts, um, specifically the third Kingdom Hearts. Isn't there like fifteen Kingdom Hearts? There is, but it is the third one of the main. So Kingdom titles. Hearts three. Kingdom Hearts three. Disgaea, Alpha, <laughs> no, Alpha no. Gamma. Two seventy eight uh, over yeah, five. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, it Kingdom is Kingdom Hearts, Hearts three. three. Okay. In the main series, um, I picked this one uh, because the melody is beautiful. I think it's called "Dearly Beloved," um, and in the original, it was you know obviously just a piano rendition. Uh, the third one really expands upon this uh, with the full orchestra and everything like that. So it is kind like of, the same theme. It's the same theme. So in the third one, it actually kind of more hints at it and plays with the theme a little bit. It's yeah. not really, you know, as rigid as the first two and other titles. Um, but it has enough of that nod and callback to it with, you know, kind of a fuller ensemble there that really puts it all together for me. Um, I think it's the best version. It's pretty good. It's yeah. pretty good. I'll put it, you know what, I'll put it I think it's list. beautiful. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a beautiful theme. Um, it's not, it doesn't get you as hyped, but it, it hits you in the feels for sure. Like if you grew up with Kingdom Hearts, like you get tears in your eyes every time you hear you get that, uh, that kind of thing. Yeah, like it it might not hype you, but it it slowly hypes you. Yeah, like no, it, it, yeah, it, it, it lifts you up. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it is. Which I mean, you're not going to see in ten seconds, but yeah, if, I'm going to try. It, yeah, I'll I'll probably pick the um, climax of it, I guess. Yeah, um, but yeah, we'll see. That's going to cool. be a tough one. It's 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 pretty. It's good. All right, Tyler. All right, so I came uh, to bat today. You man. did, man. I, uh, I, yeah. I prepared for this all day. So, do you want? Wh- what do you want? So, you did something that's a little bit chilly, that kind of pumps you up. Like, wh- what kind of music you want? You want something hard hitting, or do you want like a like a? Let's slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Yeah, if you got something for me. All right, we're gonna we're here gonna we go. relax here. I wonder if I knew this. That's pretty good. It's chill. It is chill. It's yeah. a different vibe. Um, so it, it's Animal you guess Crossing. It? Animal Crossing. I didn't guess it. It's New Horizons. Okay. It's the newest Animal Crossing. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And apparently, so in on this one, that's the spring rendition. So like the different, like the winter one gives you like they add almost like a sleigh bell weird oh, thing. Cool. But th- this one's like the most pure. Sure. Of like, sure. Sure. Yeah. No, it's really cool. I was I was telling Tyler. I, I said you know immediately I. I recognized the theme and I couldn't place it. I've never played Animal Crossing, but um, I was telling him at the Game Awards. I think when when it was up for something, I, I they did like a medley of the of the theme, which was cool. Um, it's a cool theme. I like yeah. the trumpet. I I think it's super chill. It it and this is something I wanted to talk about is a good title theme 
should um, kind of de- depict what the you know atmosphere of the game is, right? I would um, agree with that, yeah. And kind of foreshadow what you're getting into. Um, and beautiful job from that. I think those are the best. Like, obviously, you want the music to be good, high quality, right? Yeah. Uh, good theme, everything like that. But it should really, like, kind of incorporate some of that game experience into... Because that's that first uh, impression you're getting, right? Absolutely. And and this came out in a time, obviously, like, so this came out during COVID, like, yeah. right when it hit. Right, right. So this is the spring rendition. So when you think about it, it's like, okay, everyone's... The, the world shuts down. You're yeah. at home. Yeah. You're doing all this stuff. Everybody was playing Animal Crossing, and it's this cozy, like... Well, everything's gone to shit, but <laughs> here's this just nice, I just escape. super calm, yeah. like, yeah, just take, relax, whatever. It was, it was popular, man. Yeah. And they, well, and they it. just did the 2.0, which is why this was top of mind for me, where it's mm-hmm. like, you know, you're, you're getting back into it and it's for, for a game like that, especially when you're pay- playing for hours on end, where it's just like, you just lose track of time because it's, just, it's these kind of like menial, like whatever, like mundane tasks, but it, the the music's constantly looping. Like rarely yeah, is it right. quiet, and that's just I, I think it's perfect. Is it top five? Eh, I don't know, but I just wanted to put it on there because no, I'm like, I, yeah, it's I pretty. Respect it. yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right, very good. So I have one here. I've I've picked one that I'm going to go. This one's going to be left field. So I'm very curious what you think of it. All right, let's All right, listen. Let's do it. Well, Cuphead and his pal Mudman, they like to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game and gosh, they paid the price. Sometimes I forget how well Cuphead like encapsulate. Like it, it's just it's a perfect visual yeah. audio yeah. combination. It's like, yep, that was the cartoon right. of that. When you era. talk about best video game atmospheres, yeah. that has my highest respect. It knew exactly what exactly. it wanted to do and it, so it unique. executed flawlessly. And this ties into my point that I was previously talking about where, man, does that really get you in the mood for w- the experience you're about to have? Yeah. And it's fantastic. And anyone who knows me, well, this is probably something you don't know about me. I love Barbershop Quartet. <laughs> it is one of my favorite forms of, of music. Uh, I was actually in a quartet in high school and uh, it's super fun. And... I don't know. So I'm very partial to it. So when I heard the theme for the first time, I was like, yeah, fuck yes. <laughs> but it on. Um, is it top five? Maybe not. But I, I respect it highly because of, you know, the atmosphere, like I said, that it's presenting with that. And and the uh, kind of the vinyl vibe to it too, right? Um, right. You get that crackle with it. Uh, very deliberate. Very awesome. It's like I said, it's just, it's perfect yeah for what it's trying to do i don't know which 10 seconds we're going to put in but the second half of it is like a ragtime piano and it's it's very good all right whatever for for the songs you're putting in there i'm gonna yeah, yeah, it to yeah. you to get the time to stamps see on like there what, we'll put, what we'll the best part is but yeah. um yeah a little bit out of left field but uh no i, I like it that's a good it. surprise yeah i'm gonna put it next to animal crossing uh yeah, the, is like very a very similar kind of yeah. uh well in the same vein, I would say. Absolutely, yeah. All right, what do you got for me, buddy? All right, so I think this is one you will nail. Okay. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, let's take do a listen it. to that. Twenty twenties game of the year by some standards well Maybe not everyone by my standards, by my yeah, standards too yeah, yeah. Hades i definitely was very, think very it was good. the best one it got yeah. snubbed so hard i think so. don't too. even get me into that but really excellent um example there that's a great title screen i was thinking about that one i did listen to that one and um i was surprised actually i know you're a big fan of the uh that studio yeah um i was surprised you didn't put bastion on there actually i i really like yeah that. it's just like i guess so you like Bastion more? I, I prefer I, I Hades. Do. Yeah, I, I can't I tell like you Bastion why. More. I guess it, it's no. A I little... think you. I think they're neck and neck. I think it's preference, honestly. Yeah. You know, very similar. Obviously, they have a very um, unique style uh, to their music, but it's very similar across all their games, mm-hmm. right? Like when I Twangy. went back and played Pyre, I was like, oh yeah, this is this is Hades. Yeah, uh, vibe. But um, yeah, I just I just like the uh, the guitar in. Um, in Bastion, but Hayes' fantastic theme is well. yeah, and like I said, I'm not I'm not going to be like fighting for this one. In fact, I'll even put it like below Animal Crossing. Like honestly, we don't even put it on the list. No, it's it, very good though. It's good. Yeah. I, is it top five? I mean, we already have five it's great ones. So. Yeah, it's very catchy. It's it's good. Yeah. I think it deserves to be talked about at least. Sure. All right. Uh, very good. Uh, I have another one here. And all right, all right, here we go. You're 
I hope you know this. I hope you know this. I hope I know. I hope you know. All right. All right, here we go. I'm ashamed I didn't know that. I am shocked that you didn't know that, actually. So tell us what it is. It is Mass Effect 2. You mean my favorite game of all time? Yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently not. Yeah, Mass Effect 2, I was going through, I was like, you know, like I said, I was researching going through my games. Yeah. Of course, I'm hitting Mass Effect. Um, I started with 3, actually, because I remember 3 was pretty good, and it was. And there was like 1, and I remember 1's like that ethereal kind of synth vibe to it, right? Yeah. Um, which is cool. Uh, but then I was like, okay, let's go to 2. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> this is too. It's um. I think if I heard Mass Effect one, I would have recognized it yes, more than like two. Like I said, I think that's what I think, I think of when one I think of Mass might Effect. be more recognizable. But yeah. two is an absolute bop. Actually, it's Two's very good. epic. Uh, it gets you going, man. Let's you, let you know what's uh, what's going on. It does. It really does. Do you think it's top five? <sighs> I think it's it's in consideration. I really like that theme. All I think right. it's very good. I'll put it in consideration. I, it's good. Don't yeah. get me wrong. No, no, it's yeah. very good. Okay. I think we've got some good ones on hey, here. I'm All ready right. to hear what you got, man. So let's go to the next All one. All right. So in honor of uh, our good friend, Nate, Nate the Great, let's, uh, uh, let's put this on. Okay. This is okay. So, th- this is one that I can just hum over yeah, and over yeah. and over. And it's not, and I, I'm not a musical part. Like I, I played in band and stuff, but like clarinet. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, clarinet. So it's Prodigy. basically another. Uh, so it's I'm not a theorist, right? So I don't know like the ins and outs on what makes music good or not. It's just like very much like this that little clip, which of course I'll have for the 10 second thing. They basically just play that over and over and over and over yeah. in like twenty different ways. Yeah, they, fast, loud, yeah. soft, whatever. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I they expand on that idea, and it's very good. Um, to, it's definitely. I I can't believe I didn't think of that one actually um, when I was going through my research today. So I'm really glad you brought that to the table because that is something I definitely slept on. It's a very great yeah. theme. So you think it belongs on uh, at it, least on the do, consideration consideration list? for yeah. sure? Is it is it a lock on there? I would not say so, but I would easily in the consideration section. Done. It Perfect. is. It is on, and it shall be done. Let's get to the next that's one the here. Higher thing, but um, yeah, all right. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, all right, next one here. I'm just gonna hit you right with it. Here we go. So Resident Evil Four, no, okay, close. All right, Dragon Quest Eleven. It was it's very good. It is the quintessential overture. Um, as a classical musician nerd, uh, it's just so good. I I love it. It sets up the 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 game perfectly. It's bright. It's bright. It's it's, it's triumphant, and it's it's you know you know this is the uh you know. It's the beginning of the quest. It sets everything up brilliantly. Like I said, it's literally called Overture, and in, the name doesn't lie. It is. It is. Yeah. Literally an overture <laughs> <laughs> it's, to it's, the game. It wears like it, it would sleeve. be. A, a, what's yeah. that? Yeah, it wears absolutely. On sleeve, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I like it. So, not not that we're there yet. Yeah. Would you? So I know you played um, the uh, the Kingdom Hearts three. Is it like apples and oranges to try to compare and contrast them, or do you um, consider them both like very I would orchestral? Put, and um, that's a tough one. I would put Kingdom Hearts three over that one. Interesting. Uh, okay. Kingdom Hearts 3's melody is something that transcends it. Mm-hmm. Um, where this one is, where very, this one like, is, uh, I will say the drag. I mean, this is the Dragon Quest melody. So yeah. honestly, you know, from the first one, because I remember I was listening to the Dragon Quest uh, themes. This is the best one for the same reasons as like Kingdom Hearts, where this expands on it, right? Mm-hmm. You get the full orchestra, but you listen to the the like the first game, and it's like, um, what's it called with the the pixel music? Um, 
like the chip tunes stuff. Yeah, yeah. right. So it's this, it's that theme. Yeah, it but just it's keeps, in that keeps version, going, right? Going, but uh, yeah. this is it fully realized, right? That's With, awesome. Um, yeah. That's tough. I, yeah, I, off the top of my head, that's uh, that's what I think. But we can talk about. I don't know if you put it into consideration. Yeah, how do you, no, we'll how do you feel the, off it? We'll put it into you know, considerations. I like it. It's bright. Is it top five? Eh, I don't know. Like if you're not going to fight for it, then we could take it off and make our lives easier early on. But I think that is it is good. Yeah, it's I'm like not, almost like I'm, I'm like the par with Hades in terms of like yeah, yeah. It's worth mentioning and having people listen to it. Right. I think it's very good. Um, I probably won't fight too too hard. It's this is a really tough one because if it was up to me, we're I would. Gonna, we're going to put it on. Yeah. And I, yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll we can see come where back the chips, yeah, chips fall. Chips fall. Okay. All right. Uh, so I have one. Speaking of bright and uh, well, listen, listen to this. All right, let's see go. it. So that's oh. That is pretty good. <laughs> it's, uh, so this is funny because I don't know what 10 second clip I'm going to pl- Actually, I think I do. Okay. But this is, so this is Nino Kuni 2, which you did not. My favorite you, game of all time. Yeah, your favorite game. <laughs> uh, it's, this is a song that uh, it would play in the overworld and I was, I was playing the game and I literally stopped playing the game just to listen to this. And that doesn't yeah, happen a lot yeah. for, for it, but I'm just like, I love it. it it's so cheerful and and um, inspire. I, I don't know, man. It's, and it's just kind like, of intense. Too. I love there's it. A little in the lo- beginning, ferocity yeah. to it. Yeah. There's a little. Uh, there's a little gusto there. I like that. It's yeah. the perfect. Like you're an adventurer. Yeah. Like you're going. Yeah. Like you're fighting monsters. You're doing stuff. Comes, but it's yeah, like it's it uplifting. And yep. it's just like yep. all right. Let's let's do it. That's gonna be tough to beat. That's gonna be tough to I, beat. That's a good one. I love That's it. Good one. I might lose a spot on this stuff. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, uh, I I will say this is one I am gonna fight pretty hard for. Yeah. No. It's it's. Good. Do we have anything concretely on there? Um, so right now we had Halo 2, uh, Civ 6. I would say probably those those two concrete. I, I would say this is probably probably make up it there. On there. All right. Yeah. Let me uh, actually I do have just some just there. as a as a first listen to that. That was uh, pretty good. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, me too, man. That's that's really good. All right. What do you uh, what do you got? All right. Um, I have another one. Uh, is this my last one? No, it's not. I got two more. All right. So, Second to last. Which one should I hit you with? Uh, I'll do. Th- um, I'll do this one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> So Final Fantasy Seven. Final Fantasy Seven. I mean, the remake specifically. Yeah. Although, of course, the original. But it's, a, it's a, a, again a perfect example of taking something old and just expanding on it, where it's yeah. that you it's you're familiar with it, yep. but you can still have like a new sense of appreciation for for what they composed way back when. Yeah, I think that's a that's a recurring theme on my list here, yeah. and I am a sucker for it. I think a lot of these old melodies are fantastic, and you like you said expand on it. Uh, you know, or you know the orchestrations a bit larger. Obviously, you have more capacity to do things and a higher budget right and uh it's pretty good is there a is there a chorus on that so the, like you were mentioning earlier like uh whenever we we're listening to this that's an orchestra i, I don't think there's a uh, choir on that one um but like uh, tyler and i were talking about um the 10 second version will be the beginning because that's that's what you know it's the harp you yeah. get the harp you can you know you get the ascending arpeggios right um but i definitely encourage everyone to listen to the entire thing because it really you need the whole context of it it builds um, the climax of it is fantastic. You're, you're in it, 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 you know, you're in for something great yeah. when you hear that. Like, I think a lot of, and I can't speak to the fans. I wonder what Kyle would think about this at, uh, actually. Um, who, Kyle's our f- good friend. Who's a huge Final Fantasy seven, uh, the biggest Final Fantasy fan. seven fan of all time. But, right? but all like, Final Fantasy, he loves them all. So, yeah. um, I w- am curious to think, I think you hear that title scream. You're like, okay, this, because a lot of people were worried about the game, right? Yeah, and you know, you hear that, and I'm sure a lot of the fans were like, "Oh, okay." Could you imagine if they changed the the intro to that, or like the beginning, be where riots. it's just not the same? Yeah, <laughs> there'd be riots. Um, that's gonna be a good one. I would like it to be in consideration. I don't think it immediately makes it on, but I think it is. I think it's pretty strong. I I, I was I was just thinking to myself, this is gonna be one of our hardest lists because I truly think all of these 
It's so good. And the thing is, we're scratching, like, the surface. Exactly, yeah. Like, how many games did we not even think? Like, I didn't even think about to look at Mass Effect. You And, and yeah. you never heard of Nino Kuni 2. Yeah, right? absolutely. So, like... Yeah, a lot of these older games, too. Like, I was doing a lot of research on this. And I, I didn't want to include some of these other ones because me and Tyler talked a lot about this where... You know, we want to be genuine with, with our lists here and not mm-hmm. just go, you know, obviously a lot of the Marios are fantastic. Sure. Um, actually, a lot of the Mega Man uh, title yeah. sequences are very good. Mega Man's great. Yeah. Mario's great. There was um, one Metroid one that was Metroid, yeah, yeah. I saw that reoccurring on a lot, a lot of, of Nintendo uh, stuff. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo stuff. But I, see, I don't I don't play a lot of that stuff. So right. it's, it's not as, you know, I'm not feeling like I'm being the most genuine when I'm saying, oh, well, this is, you know, I'm trying to incorporate things from my my own experience, I guess. Yeah, it's trying not to be uh, so like, oh, this is the most recognizable. Right, right. Uh, at Red, you know, we're saying this right after we played Final Fantasy VII, but <laughs> yeah. it's not so much the most recognizable, but it's the the stuff that makes you feel something yep. and that you're, you're jazzed yep. out and stuff. Like, yep. Yeah, it's, it's going to be and a And our own a musical tastes list. obviously play a sure. huge part in this, right? Like, like I mean, I'm looking over of- my list. I'm like, oh, there's a choir in just about yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. And and like you point, pointed out, it's like, oh, you're little, you just love uh, orchestrated old the themes. Re- yeah, <laughs> remake, remake version remake of themes. Everything. Yeah, like it's the good. latest version of everyone. Yeah, so I, I um, love this episode because it is going into one of your passions. Yeah, which is, I mean, that's that's fantastic. I think we're learning a lot about ourselves. Here, yeah, that's which good. is great. Um, okay, uh, let's so, let's hear do you have another one. Yeah, yeah uh, let's do it. I have one that I, I think you're gonna get this right away. Great. So you, you didn't get I it didn't right get away. I did get it right away. And that's, I, I will say this, in my defense, I never played that one. But what it is, is uh, Oblivion, Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls 4. 4. Yep. Uh, Oblivion, right? Th- this is, so I know we did, we talked about Halo 2 and how yes. it was like slightly different, yeah. different rendition of it. Yeah. I think this is a perfect example from Morrowind to Oblivion to Skyrim. Yeah. Just completely different takes, like like we were talking about. Um. And it's it, it sets the tone of the different right. games. So like Morrowind is a very subdued kind of uh, slower version of it. Right. But Morrowind's also like more mysterious and, and yeah. kind of like this subtle thing. Sweeter, uh, more playful, yep. light, very light. Um, Oblivion is... It's epic. It's, epic. But it's also like the Imperial City yep, and yep. stuff like that. And it's and then of course Skyrim is is more Nordic. Yeah, Nordic, uh, you know. So did you you said you had Skyrim? I uh, have your, Skyrim on mine, which so, is interesting. So so we'll play Skyrim here. Let's just do that right now yeah. and then we can kind of compare and contrast. Also really good. So both very good. And what a fantastic example of same theme, yeah. different, completely different feels like you're talking about yeah. across the games. I put Skyrim on my list. One, because that's the one I've played. Right. And two, I like the kind of more gritty, uh, for lack of better words, manly <laughs> right. nature of it. You get the drums, you get the the men's choir so, going. So how about and th- this is here's my here's my line sure, of thinking. Sure. I just love the theme. Yeah. I just I I, I really I am want actually, the theme on I the am list. willing to go with Oblivion. I think that's very good. And see, I'm willing to go with Skyrim because <laughs> because <laughs> I I went back and I listened to the God of War theme. Yeah. Uh and it was good. Yeah. I did the same thing. I did the same Skyrim thing. Skyrim is yep. better. Yep. But I love the Nordic. I did the same exact yeah, thing as you. So let's let's put Skyrim on the list. Okay. Special shout out to not only Oblivion but also Morrowind's Morrowind is very, very good. good. Yeah. Don't sleep on that one. That's that's a nice uh, whimsical good. little uh, journey you go on there. Um, so I guess we just kind of so we kind of stole my <laughs> last one here. So I am out of uh, ones to do here. I will say. I did have a couple ones that I was thinking about. Okay, so I I have one more. I don't think it's going to make the list. But okay, I, sure. I, I yeah. do want to just I want to throw I ten seconds out yep. there. No, Absolutely, I, go I have for one it. more. Here, let's do let's do this really quick. So 
So I'm not going to fight for it. But okay. Ori in the Blind Forest yeah. is talk about the opening sequence. So the, the this is the title screen, but then it's also it's one of those title screens where as soon as you hit it, yeah, it launches into the game and it blends it's the seamless. Yeah, and it's oh my gosh, it's so good. It makes you it like this is a perfect one where the the music is good. And this is why I'm not going to fight for it because it's good on its own. Right. But it's when mixed with the visuals and what you're doing on uh, screen, it makes you feel something well beyond what just the uh, the gameplay would do. The like, gameplay sure. is like, sure. especially in the beginning, not to <laughs> spoilers, but Or in the Blind Forest is fantastic. One of the best platformers in, in mechanics wise. But the intro part makes you extremely sad in the beginning. Yeah. And this music just it hits. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a great combination yeah. of, of. I couldn't factors. put it down. It was. Yeah. It was incredible. Yeah. Um. That's a good one. So I definitely respect it. I don't think it'll make it. No. I mean, we I, just have too many good we, ones here. But yeah, it's you know definitely worth mentioning. For I sure. just had to put it out there. Yeah. Absolutely. So you had some honorable. Mentions. I have some honorable yeah. mentions. I'm just gonna go through them here. We won't clip these or anything. Sure. However, if you want more insight on a specific one, like you haven't heard in a while, we can take a look at it. Yeah. Maybe something will sneak in. Okay. Because you know these are kind of ones like I said. I haven't played uh, a ton of, of these. Uh, maybe some of them I have. But um, I was kind of, you know, doing my due diligence and I was like, wait, these are very good. So yeah. um, I already talked about a couple of them, the Mega Man ones, Mario, obviously. Speaking of Mario, the one that jumps out at me particularly is Odyssey. I think that title yes. is fucking fantastic. Mario is, obviously you have like the Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. That's everyone's ringtone Absolutely. of a certain of age. of course. Yeah. Uh, on my list of honorable mentions was Super Mario World. Uh, yes, yeah, that's a good I one. That was like yep. it was like fun. It was like yep. this jaunty thing. Yep. Um, it wasn't just a rehash. Mario Odyssey is is very good. Just a straight bop, and it. Uh, I I wish it was the um uh vocal version. So yeah. that the theme is is just the instrument right. uh, instrument instrumental version sure um if it had the vocals on it I would probably fight for it. It is <laughs> that good. It is a straight. Bob. Are we gonna have to put this on? Like we're gonna be talking these things up. Uh, I would not put it on. Like I said, if the voice was on the title yeah, screen, yeah. Okay. I so would make a, it would make if, a run. If you're interested in the Mario Odyssey, yeah, take title a look. Screen, go, 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 go I, I, I recommend listening to the one with the voice, uh, which yeah. I think is even in the game or I've never played that one, but it's, I was I was looking. I think it's late to make sure. game. Yeah. yeah, take a look at that one. Um, another one. This will never make the list, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, we sports. Has a yeah. pretty good soundtrack, and uh, whenever I hear it, man, it's just. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll do one better. I will, I will say the Wii sh- Nintendo Shop <laughs> had a pretty good. <laughs> like it's just like this yeah, really like yeah. calm. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that counts, but uh, Wii Sports definitely. You can hum that forever, man. Yeah. That'll get stuck in your head. So uh, we talked about God Award. That was on my honorable mentions. Yeah. Like God I said, uh, with Tyler's kind of uh, reasoning behind that, I think Skyrim just just does it better. And, um, and Skyrim has the benefit of. I've listened to this theme multiple times and it's just a new rendition of it. And I love the theme to begin yeah. with. And then Skyrim yeah. puts it in its own twist. It, yeah. We already talked about it. It's very good. Um, two more. I have Smash Bros. Uh, Ultimate. Yeah. Uh, very good. I think that song is really cool. Um, so I wouldn't put it on the list, but it's a very Hikes good song. Yeah, yeah, it does. Right. Definitely. Uh, again, I like the vocals on that. Mm-hmm. And the title does have the vocals, but I don't think it's as good as Odyssey with the vocals. But the, the title does have the vocals? I believe so, yeah. I mean, I haven't played. You, were talking, you said Ultimate. Like yes, I haven't played all Yes, that's the that's the most recent one, correct? Yep. Yeah. 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 So uh, it does. And then the last one I have my, on my list is I was just kind of like looking at things. I was like, man, this is pretty fucking good. Is Ocarina of Time. Uh, I listened to that because yeah. I was looking for a Zelda because I'm yeah. like, how is Zelda not on yeah, this yeah, list? Yeah. And Ocarina of Time was probably the closest, but yeah. I want to say Zelda's title music is not as good as I thought it was. It's, it's one of those sure, things where sure. like, the title the, screen, mm-hmm. you expect something. It's like, yeah, it's all right. Like Breath of the Wild, I thought was going to be like this, right. this amazing. And it's yeah, like, yeah. it's good, but it is so subdued compared to these other ones. Yeah. I thought Ocarina of Time was the closest as well. Yeah. Um, it's very good. But uh, so you, you said, uh, honestly, <laughs> most of them, uh, one honorable mention I had, especially because today the, the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there there is a YouTube video, which I, I encourage everyone to check out. But they, they took the title screens of all the Pokemon games from the chip to, you know, red and blue. Yeah, yeah. And just went all the way through. And more or less, there are a couple like standing ones that they, they, tr- they do some weird stuff with a the theme and it's a little abstract. Sure, sure. But it's so cool to see. Um, the evolution, it's like, oh, we can have how many bits of yeah, audio? Like, yeah, great, let's yeah. let's use it. Right. 
it's awesome. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I was. Happy. I was considering Pokemon. Um, unfortunately, it did not make make it, but uh, very good. It's it's good, but <laughs> pound for pound. One of the ones good. I was like, thinking about. Was... This is an honor mention. I just thought of is the Persona games have fantastic music. Uh-huh. Um, so I was looking at Persona Five. The title screen is good. But, but not it, as good it's as not that as intro good movie. It's the, the the game itself, right? So it's like the, I looked at because I it's funny yeah, because yeah. I was like I'm gonna throw John a curveball, yeah, 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 on yeah. Here. But the the music and the sound that I was thinking of was like the intro yes, video, yes. not the title screen. Yes. So if if we ever do soundtracks, those games will be there. Or if Cowboy uh, Bebop ever becomes a video game. <laughs> Cowboy people are so good. Absolutely. We might have to do maybe like TV shows uh, or something. But uh, yeah, that's all I got in terms so of honorable mentions. I have I have three other ones real quick. Sure. I have Donkey Kong. Just yep. old, OG Donkey yep. Kong. Yep. Very good. I was I was looking at dude, we I think we were the same uh, the, wavelength on it, this. I was I'm I'm very happy with the list so far. Yeah. Like I like I think we have a pretty good breadth yeah. of, yeah. of stuff. Um I was expecting this list to just be four Nintendo games in Halo. <laughs> to be honest, right? So I'm, yeah, I'm happy yeah, that where yeah. where this landed. Yeah. Um. So definitely Donkey Kong, place in my heart. I already said Super Mario World. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn, I think is a pretty good one. Yep. Um. It's not. I want to say it's not memorable because it's it's good, but it's I'm not, always it, looking it really for that melody. That's the honestly, thing is I'm yeah. I'm looking for that melody that I can like. I couldn't. Hum. I couldn't. I couldn't hum that right now. Right. If you put me on the spot. So. Yeah. Uh, so that was one. But I thought good. it was good. Yeah. Um. And it fit within the the world and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, our old friend Grandia too. <laughs> I, I just I was th- <laughs> I was thinking about maybe I just fucking do it. It's good. It's good. It's and, good. And I was like, what what title screen? Like what what song is on the title screen? Yeah. And of course, it's the the song that is sung throughout the entire the entire game. game. <laughs> of course, man. So I just had to put that on there. Absolutely. But the honorable mentions. Love it. So let me let me read out this list because it's uh we got a lot. We're gonna yeah. have to make some yeah, cuts we're here. Make some cuts. So right now we have Halo Two. Civilization 6, Nino Kuni 2, Final Fantasy 7, Kingdom Hearts 3, Dragon Quest 11, Divinity Original Sin 2, Cuphead, Animal Crossing, Mass Effect 2, um, Hades, and oh my God. Skyrim. <laughs> oh, that's rough. So I'm this fine, I'm fine taking Hades off. I am fine taking Cuphead off. That's pretty easy. All right. So we'll, we'll, start, we'll start trimming. Start trimming. Um... I'd be okay taking Animal Crossing off. I still think that that is, that is a calm, <sighs> yeah, good one. Um, it, it, the the competition it's it's no slight on any of these. These all deserve to be talked about. Yeah. Um. It just comes down to the competition's so good. Uh. We got to just make cuts. Do we think so? Do we think Skyrim deserves to be on this list? <sighs> yeah. Skyrim's so good. So are we saying right now Halo Two, Civilization Six, Nino Kuni Two, Skyrim. which I'm gonna fight for yeah. Skyrim. I'm I'm good with Nino Kuni Two on there. So all of that being said, we got one spot. We have one. We spot. have one fucking spot. So for anyone kind of writing this down, Final Fantasy VII, Kingdom Hearts Three, Dragon Quest Eleven, Divinity Original Sin Two, and we said no on Animal Crossing. No. Okay. Unless you you want to make a case, yeah, I okay. would I okay. would fight for Divinity over Animal Crossing. Okay. So. Okay. I'm good taking Animal Crossing off. Okay. How do you feel? Like how, now, uh, are, do you think Divinity beats all those mentioned? Me personally, yes. Interesting, interesting. Because okay. again, with that melody, uh, so it's a good the, melody. The two songs, good melody. So put it, putting Halo aside. Yeah. The two songs that I think personally, I, it made me stop and listen to them specifically was Divinity Original Sin two and Inu Kuni two. Those are the yeah. two songs where I'm like, it's, sure. Oh, one thing I, I did want to mention. Yeah. Journey, the one that you know was up for a Grammy. Yeah. No music on the title screen. Yeah. <laughs> so I checked I the like, same thing. I'm like, oh, this is a shoe in. Yeah. I went on there I was, like, yeah. oh, it's nothing. I okay. checked the same fucking thing. I was like, wait, this is a scam. <laughs> it's just wind and some sand. <laughs> yeah. So right. so yeah, so Final Fantasy VII, Kingdom Hearts Three, Dragon Quest XI, Divinity Original Sin Two. Out of those, let's say we take Yeah, uh, yeah. So Divinity I'm thinking out. I'm thinking, um, let me let me kind of trim down my cause I get three to one sure. here, right? So yeah. this is tough. I'll I'll take Dragon Quest off. Yep. Um Although I do love Dragon Quest, so it becomes between uh, well, Mass Effect Two is on there as well, right? You, you, do, you, do you want Mass Effect Two on you there? You think it should be out? Uh, can, I, out of those out. three, yeah, we can take it. I out. would take it. Honestly, I would probably take all three of those over Mass Effect. We can take it out. I would take Animal Crossing over Mass Effect. To be honest, I disagree with that, but we can take Mass <laughs> Effect Two out. Um, 
I think it's very good, though. I don't think it should be slept on. So out of Final Fantasy VII, Kingdom Hearts Three, and Divinity Two, for me, I would take Final Fantasy VII off that. I think I'm with you. I think I'm with you. That's a t- that's so tough, but um, I think Kingdom Hearts is very good. Out, out of everything that you like, made me listen yeah. to, you, I'm I'm wanting to hear more about Kingdom Hearts. Like, I want to listen to the entire track. It is fantastic. Um, and it's not that long either, but the way it builds, um, and I guess that's a common theme across my list as well, where they're all kind of, um, you go on a little bit of a journey throughout it. Yeah, I mean, it. Final it, Fantasy VII and, and Kingdom Hearts, like, they're, they're cousins. Like, they're in the same yeah, family. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's so tough, because Final Fantasy VII's intro is legendary. Um, but I think I agree. I think uh, Kingdom Hearts is is better. I like the melody more i think final fantasy is definitely recognizable but is the melody recognizable not really it's more of the atmosphere of it I because it's just beginning. arpeggios of the harp yeah i guess that's a melody but not, like not really it's, it's enough where you put that on for two seconds yeah you, you know, know it, it but is, you know yeah. it because of like the like i said the atmosphere of it it's yeah. not like yeah but i mean you, you don't you don't hum final fantasy sevens Title. That's true. You know what I mean? That's fair. Yeah. You don't hum arpeggios. So it's like uh whereas Kingdom Hearts, yeah, you can you can hum that tune. Yeah. Uh for sure. So I would I would play Kingdom Hearts. Um I would I would kick Final Fantasy VII off. That's a tough one. That's though. fine. I really like I, that intro. If if you feel the Kingdom Hearts is a better I personally do, but if you feel strongly about Divinity, I understand the theme and building off of that theme and, and variations on the theme, right? Which is, you know, yeah, but Kingdom great. Hearts made me excited. So I guess yeah. the thing with Divinity is I think it's great. Yeah, but there are some you, tunes you can, you can get kind of yeah fatigued by hearing that same thing. There are some tunes, some songs that will hit your nostalgia bone. Yeah, and you may have never played it. Yeah. And I think Kingdom Hearts is is one of those melodies. The where Zelda it's like, one was one uh, where I was humming it. And I'm just like yeah. I got to find which Zelda game this is because right, this exactly. is going on the list, right. and I could not find it. And um, I think, you know, those kind of title sequences are special where it's like, yeah. wait, I never even fucking played this game. Why am I getting like flashbacks? Well, like, we, this is crazy. I, and I, I was going to look this up because I, I couldn't remember what it was called. Um, but there was like this old school, like car racing, not racing game, but like car, you were trying to like dodge other cars, collect flags, sure. avoid oil spills or whatever. And it was in one of the, the cabin trips we were at, at and all the guys were playing it and trying to beat each other's high scores and right, stuff. Right. And then like day two of the cabin trip, everyone's like humming it because it's so repetitive. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, it, it, it's, yeah, it's not sure. necessarily a great tune, right. but it's just like, yeah, right. it gets bored in it your get, head and that's it. In. Yeah, yeah. That, that seems like divinity. <laughs> it's, it, it could seems be. Like yeah. yeah, no, it, it is. It is drilled in. I, I personally think Kingdom Hearts is better. Yeah. Um, I think there's a little bit more substance there and, sure. and uh, maybe emotional impact in it. Yeah. But if you feel strongly about no, divinity, I'm, I'm willing uh, to hear you out. Looking at this list, I'm, I'm 100% okay with Kingdom Hearts being okay. on there. Very good. Um, so just to roll out the five, and then of course we'll have yes, to. Yes, of course we'll have to. This is this might be the toughest <laughs> list we've done. It, honestly, I, so here's the thing: is I'm happy. Looking at this, I'm probably happy with any order. Any o- order overall, wow. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to fight for some yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah, like, of course, of course. I, I love these are great. This is a great list. This is good. Uh, this is very couch company list. Uh, you would you, you got some probably got some weird ones on there, but I you won't find it anywhere else. But I don't. I think you'd be hard pressed for anyone to say this is wrong, like entirely. Yeah, like, like who's gonna listen to this and be like, no, this, this is bad. Yeah, well, someone will, but ah, someone will. Yeah, that's true. All right, so here we have here we go. Halo Two, yep. Civilization Six, yep. Nino Cooney Two, Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls Five, Skyrim, Kingdom Hearts Three. Yeah. Any uh, here we go. Here we go, and it begins. Yeah. Okay, let me, so I have Civ 6, I have, we both kind of have Halo, um, I have Kingdom Hearts, and I have, um, I well, we both kind of have Skyrim, so Skyrim. I guess in terms of Civ 6 and Kingdom Hearts, I would put Civ 6 above Kingdom Hearts. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to put, I'm just going to throw this out here. Okay. I would put Halo 2 at 5. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! That's a shock. Yeah. That's a shock to me. I just I looking at this list and and trying to see how I feel. I about am fucking all of shocked. That stuff. I am fucking shocked. What? Yeah. 
if you don't agree with it, we don't have. I'm I'm just throwing it out there. I just wanted to I just wanted to to test the waters. Okay, it's not going well. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to process what you just said. To what me. do you think? What do you think is fine? That's that is tough. It is like picking between your children. This is this is this is rough. Uh, Nino Kuni two is really good. I think that needs to be higher than five. And I'm surprised I'm saying that because I didn't pick Nino Kuni two. Yeah. Yeah, like so. Uh, so that so I think that's as long safe as that's from the five spot four up. I'm good. I think. Um. Oh man, the more I think of it, I mean, you might be right. Oh my god, I think you Skyrim is right. more epic than Halo Two. Yeah. Halo Two gives you a yeah. certain feeling and it yeah. makes you excited. Yeah. But, uh, but Skyrim yeah. is just it, as much. It might be the um, the uh, uh, you know popularity bias kicking in for me because it's just like we talk about you humming that theme, like you yeah. said. Men's bathrooms everywhere I, have so, been ringing with the sound of Halo's theme since the dawn of time. I've never heard Kingdom Hearts 3 before, Plus at least not to my age, now. but and I'm, I'm willing to put that above Halo 2. It's very good. I if think you it, don't it's think it deserves place. it, then... I Would can. I put Halo above Skyrim? Oh, man, this is so tough. I, I guess not. I, like you said, Skyrim is so epic. Yeah. It just gets you juiced. Yeah. Does Halo get you juiced? Kind of, actually, yeah. Taylor does get you juice as well, and, but it's it, not as much. Not and as we much. are talking about, so, and this gets a little weird, and I, yeah. and I, I'm, I even hesitate to make yeah. this argument, yeah. but if you're, Halo, Halo versus Skyrim is yeah. interesting because they both have a ton of games, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, I would I would say, actually, they have the equal Probably number compar- of games. Comparable, yeah. 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 The theme from Halo stays yeah, pretty consistent yeah, versus yeah, the theme yeah. from Skyrim yeah, where that's they a good do. Point. I don't. Some I don't stuff. know if it's a valid argument in the quarter. I don't think it is, but, but it is a food for thought. I just want to throw it out there. You can overrule, and I'll, I'll withdraw no, no, the I, comment. I, yeah, but I don't it's think, out there. In the, I, I don't in the think universe. that could be on the record. I, there would definitely be an okay. objection Pe- to people, that. People are already thinking it. Uh, Sorry, to think I know. About. Yeah, <laughs> that's dirty, dude. That's fucking dirty. Um, Planted that seed. That sounded dirty. I. I think I agree with Halo Five. That is blasphemous. That is blasphemous. Just saying, I should be defending it more. But this is an interesting point that you bring up because when we're talking about, does it is it just that thirty second clip of Halo Two that counts, or is it because you play the one I forget so what the, the one like theme the, is the, the one that's like dun 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 like that's that's that, one right yeah is any part of that in Halo Two. Yeah, because it's cycles. That's what I mean. So for me, if if you're if we ha- if we have to pick one yeah, track yeah, to pair with yeah. Halo Two, that, that has to be part of it. If it's I, not, if it was, then, then I'm, was, I would even say I would pull Halo Two off the list. What? If you don't, oh have, no, if you don't something have something has portion, to be part of it, right? Right. But it's like it's tough because it's a rotating thing. Let's let's call it that. Okay, so I would be good at five. The the one I'm thinking of, which the one video I like, the first video I watched on Halo Two mm-hmm. was that like somber one. Yeah, I you know which one I'm talking about. Um, it's I that's the first track though, isn't it? Like the default one. No, because it's random. Oh, it is random. Yeah. So it's on a cycle. Oh, okay. I think Wait, it's on a cycle. Know. Unless, yeah, unless I have, I have not booted video. up Halo Two. And fair enough. It, we'll get there events. once we finish uh, um, Halo One. But. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with the standard just for and if we're wrong, we apologize. Um that that specific I try to do as much piece. In, I try to do as much research on this as possible. And from what I found, it is the same Halo theme followed by a rotating uh tracks yeah. from the game. So that is what I've found. The the intro choir piece is yes, good. It's set. But it's the second half of that from what I'm thinking of is Halo one. I, yeah. I assume that was in Halo two. So if it's not, then I believe maybe it I is. Need to uh, but, uh, that's that second half yeah. is what makes me excited for Halo versus the, the singing in the beginning. Really? I'm I the like opposite. the singing. I, I think the singing is the crucial point. It's the crucial, um, like recognizable point. Yeah. And then it takes off. And yeah, that, it does take off. The second yeah, sure, half is what sure. makes me excited for this. Yeah, if it's that track from Combat Evolved, I I think five. Yeah, okay. it's great. It gets you, yeah, juiced. But uh, Skyrim is better in my opinion. All right. Wow, we'll put, I can't we'll, believe I put Halo. We'll put it I was five. like, man, Halo Two is going to win this easy. Like going into the day, <laughs> right? What's uh, what's number four then? Wow. Um, what is four? What do you? What do you? What's your first kind of uh, thought there? Selfishly, yeah. I would probably put Kingdom Hearts three. Okay, I was thinking Kingdom Hearts three or Nina Kuni two. Yeah, and I would if you if you push I, for, for more, Kingdom Hearts, that's fine. Nina Kuni two, I I just love that theme so much. I'm yeah. happy it's on the list yeah. to begin with. Yeah, 
It was very good. Uh, obviously, I'm biased because yeah. uh, I've heard it once for 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, right. So um, it's tough for me to say that it should be above Kingdom Hearts, where, which is a theme I've grown up with. So there's a little bias playing in here. Um, but I would be willing to grant you it if you feel very strongly about it. It is, I would say, my favorite song in video games. Okay, L- you, little, that's uh, you can little, have it. Then you can little, have it. Little bro. Note there. Jesus, yeah, I think like if it. I'm if I want to hum a song in yeah. video games, that yeah. that's the one I'm. Humming. Okay, that's yours then, man. It's yours. You sure? Yeah. All right. So we're so we're saying. King, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts is, is not my favorite song like of video game history. So well, I'm, I'm sure I'm saying that, and then I'm yeah, I'll think of something you're else. Bullshitting, but, but no, no it's, I, I feel good. I feel good, Kingdom Hearts is solid. If it was my list, I would put it above it, but it's not my list. So you got to make compromises. So I, then, and, I, and I'm happy that Kingdom Hearts made it on the list. I think it deserves it. So then that would make Nino Kuni two three by three. default. Yeah, I think so. And now the question is: Is Civilization six or Elder Scrolls? I cannot 5 believe Civ made a two. run, but Civ is so like it is literally the first thing I thought of. Civ is very good. It is fantastic. I was all on board just yeah. for full transparency. I was all on board with Calvin. I'm like, uh, four. no, four is very fun. Yeah. Did I think it was like one or two? Yeah, Maybe not. Yeah. But like, I'm like, you listen I to could, six. I could see it sneak in there, and then, then you six to is six. it gets you jacked, man. This is a tough one because both get you jacked in yeah. very different ways. Yep. Um, one's inspiring, um, kind of um, like I I don't know why, just like ingenuity and and building and things like that. The other's like I'm gonna run through a wall. Yeah. We're gonna go to war, bitch. <laughs> like here we go. This is it. The uh, the cool thing is whenever they eventually get to Elder Scrolls Six or whatever. Yeah. You're going to hear that theme and people are going to, and they, they technically already did, like yeah. they, they did yeah. some yeah. rendition of it, but people will just lose their yeah. minds. Yeah. Right. Where I don't know. Like, with Civ, it's like, yeah. Civ 6 is it's great. True. Like they Like to take a game I, I like that. I think I'm with you, yeah. I think I'm with you. It's the, the core of the Elder Scrolls theme is brilliant. And it's survived. And every for, Civ is different. There's never a core theme Civ is fantastic, and I think I'm very happy that it got this high because it, it is it is so good. But I think I'm with you where I'm leaning more towards Skyrim. I don't even I'm not even saying I'm leaning towards Skyrim to be honest. Like I'm just kind of saying like the pros and cons. I would I would let you make that call because I would be happy with either. I think I'm leaning more towards Skyrim. I think it has a little more weight behind it, like you're talking about, yeah. and I think you know that's not the you know main factor, but it is a contributing factor. But I think the thing that I'm struggling with right now is if we're looking at it specifically for the song, like we talked yeah, about in the yeah, rules. Yeah. In the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, I love, I love the Elder Scrolls theme. Yeah. yeah. But in the back of my mind, it's like, oh, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of Morrowind. Think, I'm kind of thinking of Oblivion, and, and then I'm thinking right, of Skyrim. But that, but that, but that legacy, you know, factors it's the in. melody. It's the melody. The melody is like, like Civ Six, great. Um, you might hum it, but it's not going to be like. It doesn't have that legacy behind it, where it's this is a continuing theme, yeah. Um, that is has variations on it, like Skyrim, and I think that impact does matter, um, because you know, not that you're counting the other games, but it, it does, like you know, there's that weight behind it. Like I said, it's kind of hard to put into words, but there there is an air behind it, yeah. That is like, oh yeah, that's Elder Scrolls. You know what I mean? Like you said, I if you're in a crowd, like, yeah. and you. Play the Elder Scrolls theme. People are standing, they, cheering, screaming. Yes. Yeah. And that means something. Yeah. That means you have something there. You know what I mean? Um, of course, that's not the only reason, but but you, when you get to the quality, you know, that these two titles, um, title screens have, you're splitting hairs and, and you know, some things like that kind of tip tip it in one way or the other. They're neck and neck. They're neck and neck yeah. in my mind. I, hey, if, like, if, if, like you're saying, if you're analyzing the song, right. Um, Pure quality, I think Civ Six, but with those extra factors, I have to give it to you. Giving uh, you a lot of schools. feels, like it's it like does, they yeah. both make you feel good, right? Like, yeah, like I, I yeah. like this. So I, I think like I feel very good about so Elder Scrolls at one, Civilization and Civ Six, six at two, yeah. two Elder Scrolls one. All right, <sighs> wow, what a uh, this is a what a list. This is a fantastic. I am so. This happy might be with one of my list. favorite episodes. Uh, I hope it lists. plays well for everyone. Yeah, you know, I hope it doesn't get we're trying, taken down <laughs> because oh, yeah, of copyright right. laws. We'll see. Fucking bombarded. I don't think so. I think we'll be all right. Yep. All right. So, all that being said, 
Number five, we have Halo 2. Number four, Kingdom Hearts 3. Number three, Nino Kuni 2. <laughs> a lot of numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, number two is Civilization 6. And then number one is Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Wow. We we really went uh, deep in series here. Every single one of these is a sequel. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I, I what, what does that mean about us? I don't know. That's interesting. I, it's, it may have not, they may have not gotten the game perfect, but they have evolved yeah, this the is title just screen. The, right. Just the music. Exactly, exactly. Uh, what a great list. Well, all of this game is pretty good. I, Kingdom Hearts 3, yeah. Uh, I never played it. I don't know. But yeah, it's, the it's, fact it's a it, step down. The, the fact that you're just like, hey, listen to this, and it's just like, oh, I dig that. Like, that's, that's what I'm that's saying. That, like, yeah. It invokes that um, yeah. nostalgia that's not even there for you. That's what I mean. Uh, it's that's just, when you have a special theme. Music, that's yeah. when you have a special theme, yeah. Yeah. So. All right, very good. That's awesome. I hope I hope it pay, plays well, like you said. Um, I got two weeks to uh, to work on this. That's a little peek behind the curtain. Yeah, <laughs> <There you go. laughs> yeah. We'll see. Uh, give us your feedback. Um, you know, we uh, trying new things, and we're always trying to innovate and 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 spice things up as sure. always. We don't want to uh, be complacent with that. Well, that's all we got for you guys um, and girls. Um, I hope you guys liked the, the episode. I know this was a blast for me. Um, like Tyler said, you know. Music, very big passion of mine. So yeah, uh, always loved combining two two nerd notes. out with something that you uh, you love. Hopefully, I didn't come across as a douche, but hey, whatever. No, you you were very educational. Like you, I mean, that's the beauty of it is like you know this stuff, and and that's what we said going into it. Where I'm like, hey, I'm gonna show you stuff that I like. Yeah. Tell me if it's well, that doesn't warrant you know that you know? Like, that doesn't take away anything from your opinion of it because sure, music's completely subjective. That's the beauty of it, right? Just yeah, it's it, art. Like, I that's, studied it more. Doesn't mean that. Your it, your it, your opinion's not as valid. It, it, as mine. At the very at the very least, though, I I want to understand why why I like something. Sure, yeah. Because like I could yeah. have like it's like oh it, it was this je ne sais quoi of like well, something. That's like, that's you know. um that's why I love listening to you to go into your kind of um elaborations on art. Yeah. Um, like I love when you talk about the Batman the animated series, like why you like him, like that makes a lot of sense. It's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's li- cause like I'm the same, it's completely flips. Like I love the animation of this. It's so cool, but I don't know why, like what yeah, makes just- this different <laughs> than, you know? So yeah. Um, but with that being said, it's a great episode. Thank you, uh, for listening as always. You can check us out, um, couch company dot games, uh, check out all of our top fives. Like I said, this was a really special one. Hopefully it plays well. Um, you guys can listen along a little more interactive. Um, with the audience here and uh, we're going to be back same time, same place next week. And thank you so much for joining us on the couch. Peace.